Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you are well. I've got another Bible story for you today. Uh, Over the last few weeks, I've told the story of these Bibles, the Usk Bible, uh, my Dutch Bidgebel, and here uh, the Pulpit Bible from the Terrace Christian Reformed Church. Uh, Important stories about these Bibles, wonderful stories, uh, but I want to kind of shift, to pivot away from these Um, big old Bibles, and I want to think a little bit more about this. This is my phone, and uh, on uh, on my computer in my office, I use uh, a number of Bible apps, but probably the one that I use the most is Bible Gateway. Um, It's free, for one, and then it's got a a ton of translations, and uh, I mean... But I want to think a little bit more about uh, what you use and what you can use on your device. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great free Bible apps uh, for your device. Uh, I happen to use uh, the NIV Bible and uh, it's very handy. It saves me having to have a Bible with me when I go out and visit folks and, and I always have uh, the scriptures at my fingertips. Uh, but there's also a great one uh, called uh, Bible for Kids. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the music uh, coming up on there just as I started up, uh, but it's exactly what it, what it sounds like. It's a Bible app for kids, and uh, parents might take some interest in, in taking a look at that. Uh, if, uh, if you forget or lose or have a very old version of the today, this is from, I think, March, April, and it's already June, Uh, You can always flip on your phone to the Bridge app, and on the Bridge app, of course, you can uh, find that there's the Today listed right there. You click on it, and you can get uh, the devotional for the day. Um, We we put recently on our church's Facebook page also uh, another app. Uh, The app is called Lectio 365, and it's basically a daily devotional that helps you pray the Bible every day. Uh, Of course, another way to uh, use your device is uh, to listen to audio books, or uh, in particular, the audio Bible. Uh, I happen to be listening to the book of Joshua on Audible right now, uh, but there's other other ways to to, to use your device. I guess the overall question is something like this. Are are you getting the most out of your device? I'd encourage you to explore, uh, to do a search of Bible apps um, at the App Store or whatever, however your device works. Um, Look for devotional uh, apps as well. They can be very helpful. Uh, We're uh, a Reformed church. Uh, One of the big deals during the Reformation, of course, was that the the Bible should be uh, translated into the vernacular, into the common language. Uh, Bibles shouldn't just be read by priests, shouldn't just be uh, in Latin, uh, but they should be in the hands of the people to be understood by everyone. Uh, and, and I think that's you know, a wonderful part, a rich part of our heritage as Reformed Christians. Uh, but sometimes I wonder if it isn't still a little bit easy in today's day and age to take uh, for granted having a Bible. Uh, I wonder if you've ever seen that video footage of uh, smuggled Bibles uh, being distributed in China and just the sheer enthusiasm of each person getting their own Bible and they literally cheer uh, when they get their own Bible in their own hands, in their own language. Uh, We, of course, have the Bible in our own language. Um, And whether that Bible is uh, on your shelf or whether that Bible is on your device. Um, I guess in some ways it it, it doesn't much matter, Um, but do we open our Bibles? Do we we use them regularly to meet God? Uh, It's pretty hard to take these Bibles with you every day. I figure you probably got about 15 to 20 pounds worth of Bible sitting right here. Um, I mean, even a regular-sized Bible doesn't really just kind of nicely fit into your pocket anywhere. Um, but you can always have, you can always have your device with you. And, and what do you use your device for? I mean, I mean sure, of course, it's a phone, and, and you can text. And, and, of course, maybe there's some news that you read off it, and there's social media and games. Um, 
But what if your smartphone could be used as a tool to help your devotional life? Uh, a lot of people habitually kind of reach for their phone if they're feeling a little bit bored. What if when you reached for your device, you didn't, you know, just kind of use it and scroll through social media, or you didn't just kind of numb your, your mind through uh, playing Candy Crush or some other game, but what if, if uh, what you really got, what you really met, was uh, a real and needed comfort of God's Word and Spirit, even through this little device? This is from Psalm 19 in the Message translation. God's word is better than a diamond, better than a diamond set between emeralds. And I think this is fitting at this time of year. You'll like it better than strawberries in spring, better than red, ripe strawberries. And of course, Psalm 19 concludes with this prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my lips be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. God's peace be with you all.